My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO and founder of Third Stage Consulting Group. We're an independent digital transformation and ERP consulting firm and wanted to talk today about Avis. Uh, I posted a video and a blog not too long ago about Hertz and the digital transformation failure that they experienced with their uh, website redesign, which uh, you can go back and watch that video if you'd like, and I'll, I'll just recap a real quick summary, but bottom line is it didn't go well. Uh, they uh, hired Accenture to overhaul their website. Uh, one thing led to another, led to a lawsuit, and now Hertz is suing Accenture. But that's not the topic for today. What I wanted to talk about today was one of Hertz's competitors and contrast what they did versus what Hertz did and why they had two such different outcomes. And this is actually based on an article I read in the Wall Street Journal over uh, the weekend. Uh, I had a good um, profile of their digital transformation and what their CIO had done to uh, drive that transformation. And some of the interesting things about it uh, that, that stand out and contrast very differently from, from what Hertz did is first of all, one of the things the CIO said they did in the case of Avis was that they had mapped their business processes up front and lined up those business processes with their business goals. So that was one of the very first things they did before they started looking at specific technologies and even really thinking about implementing any sort of technologies is they mapped out those business processes and they looked at how those processes align with what it is they're trying to accomplish uh, strategically as an organization. And the second thing that Avis did that was different from what Hertz did is that they really took the perspective of the customer experience. So they looked at what is it that they can do to enable technology or to use ten technology to enable a better customer experience. So one of the things and decisions that their customer experience focus led to was a decision to network the cars uh, in their fleet of rentals. Um, so that they could get real-time information about where the car is, what mileage it has, how much maintenance it has, that sort of thing, and really just automate the uh, real-time update of the data that the company had on its fleet of cars and therefore able to provide better customer service uh, to their to their customers. So that's the second thing that was, that was quite a bit different was that focus on the customer experience and leading with the customer experience and the business process mapping that came along with that and not coming in leading with the technology and, and simply outsourcing that technology initiative to a system integrator, as was the case with Hertz. The third thing that, that uh, Avis did differently from Hertz is that they moved the data from their mainframe to uh, the cloud. Uh, they moved uh, all of their mainframe legacy data uh, that had information about customers, their fleet, uh, mileage of the cars, all that stuff moved it over to AWS or, or Amazon Web Services and built application uh, connectors so that they could build better integration uh, with that data so it could be used in multiple uh, systems and multiple sources. So that was another uh, big move was to move to the cloud, which a lot of companies are, are doing that, but, but from a different perspective. And then finally, one of the things that stood out was that they made the strategic decision as part of this overall transformation to uh, basically market their car rentals to Lyft drivers. So the uh, competitor of Uber, Lyft, uh, is a fairly big uh, ride hailing service in the U.S. and certain parts of the other, the rest of the world. And in this new service they're providing, Lyft drivers can rent cars from Mavis. And so that required a certain uh, new approach to technology and a new use of technology that the company hadn't used before. So it really uh, caused them to rethink their business model and looking at ways at how they could use technology to open up a new market and appeal to new potential customers. So that's a quick summary of what, what Avis did, but, but again, just to kind of back up and look at how that's different from what happens with so many digital transformations gone wrong recently, in particular Hertz, which is a direct competitor of Avis. The first lesson here is that the thing that a Avis did not do, which Hertz did do, was that uh, they did not outsource the project entirely to a big system integrator like Accenture. So uh, when you look at what they did is they really let the business drive this project in the strategy and their operations and their customer experience. And I'm sure they had some sort of consulting help to do that. But what they did not do was say, we just want you to overhaul the website here, have at it and hand it off to a big system integrator. That is not what they did. And I think that that served them well and allowed them to lead with the right priorities going into the, the transformation. 
And the second thing and the big lesson and takeaway here is that Avis let their business processes and the customer experience drive the digital transformation. They didn't lead with technology. They didn't come in with a preconceived idea that it was going to be a website or oftentimes we hear a lot of our clients saying lately, we've already picked a technology and now we want to go implement it. We've picked S4HANA, we've picked Oracle Cloud, Microsoft Dynamics 365, whatever the case may be, a lot of clients we work with are coming in with the preconceived answer, which in and of itself isn't okay, but any time, or which in and of itself is not a, a huge problem, but where the problem lies is when you allow the technology to make decisions for you and you absolve yourself from having to make any sort of business or st strategic decisions. And what we saw here with Avis is that they were allowing the customer experience, the customer experience, their business processes, new uh, business models. Those were the things that were driving the digital transformation, not the technology. The technology was just there for the ride and it was an enabler to help them get there. But technology was not leading uh, any part of this initiative. It was the, it was the strategy, the operations, and uh, their overall business model. And then finally, the third lesson here is that as part of this transformation, Avis was not just looking at ways to automate business processes or to pave the cow paths or to make incremental changes to their business. They were really thinking, rethinking business as usual. They were rethinking their business model, looking at what their goals and objectives as an organization are, and then figuring out how could technology fit within that context. So hearing myself talk about this, it almost sounds like a no-brainer that this is the way you would we would tackle a digital transformation. But I think what the Avis versus Hertz comparison tells us and shows us is that there's some very tempting things that tempt organizations to do things the wrong way. It's, it's very tempting to think that I can just outsource this decision or this project to someone else and let them handle the overall transformation. It's very tempting to think that some of this cool, new, sexy cloud technology that's out in the marketplace is somehow going to allow me to transform my business. And that's not the case. So we, it, we really have to rethink how we view digital transformation. And some of the ways of doing that are to let the business, the strategy, the operations, the processes, let that stuff drive your operations and, and your overall transformation rather than the other thing, the other way around. So I hope you found this information useful. I encourage you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always putting out new content like this and uh, you'll get alerts uh, more quickly. And uh, thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day.